We've done a lot of club manager tactics. Let's try an international one this time around. This is a, and I apologize for butchering this, Didier Deschamps, uh, France 2024 20, tactic right now. Euro winning is what it says, four plus goals per game, 100% win rate, playing 11, winning 11, getting the whole flipping thing. So we are not going to test it out with France. We are going to test it out with our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town, as we always do. So with that aside, let's take a look at our Premier League teams and see how they did. Well, as we take a look at the table, you can see Liverpool in second with 85 points. Not bad. Pretty much average. 95 goals is pretty nice. Aston Villa in fifth is above average, but I mean, average for what we've been seeing the last couple of weeks. 75 points, 75, 79 goals. Doesn't look like it's too bad so far. As we take a look at Liverpool's domestic cup run, you can see they got to the Carabao Cup final, losing out though to Arsenal in extra time. You do beat uh, Ipswich Town along the way in penalties. You beat them again in the FA Cup fifth round, four to two, but you get to the FA Cup semis and lose out against Bournemouth. And unfortunately, no trophies for Liverpool this season. You lose out to AC Milan in the Europa League final two to three. So overall, I'm going to say it's about a bang on average season for Liverpool. Second in the league, runners up in the Europa League in the Carabao Cup, not bad. Semi-finals of the FA Cup, you still would have liked to have come back with something out of the season. But I mean, overall, it's not a bad season at all. And squad wise, yeah, you got some green there. Not a huge amount, but a pretty nice amount for Liverpool. 34 goals for Nunez, Salah with 23. That's about what we used to see. Uh, we haven't seen that in a while, though. Mohamed Salah with 19 assists, Diaz with 18, as does Trent. Not bad at all. And then Mohamed Salah with a 7-3-7. Aston Villa not doing a lot out of this domestic cup season. You got a Carabao Cup quarterfinals berth, but unfortunately, Arsenal just drop you out nil three handily. And then in the FA Cup third round, immediately against Preston. They do get to the Europa Conference League final, though, but you lose to Atalanta 1-2. So no trophies for either our Premier League teams, unfortunately. About an average season. I mean, Aston Villa do get Champions League next season, which is nice for them. But, you know, in this test, a one-season holiday, I think they definitely could have done a little bit better. But, I mean, fifth place in the league, man, eh, it's not too bad. And as we take a look at their squad, you can see some green there. I mean, they usually don't get much there. But 40 goals for Ali Watkins is phenomenal. 27 for Ramsey, so not too bad there. 15 assists. For Lucas Denier and John McGinn and Zaniolo, very well done. Uh, and then a Jacob Ramsey 7-3-4. Data hub for Liverpool. you got pretty high attacking numbers. You're not all the way to the tops of the goals per game, but not too bad. You do have fouls against per game, so there you go. 2.5 goals uh, per game. 1.05 conceded is a bit higher than usual. Not too much, though. 1.24 XG against. Aston Villa's numbers, not bad. I mean, higher than what we've been seeing lately, but still not the attacking squad that we have seen in the past. Uh, goals per game, 2.08, 1.26 conceded, and 1.46 XG against. Premier League stats, most points per game. Liverpool in second with 2.24. Aston Villa in fifth with 1.97 points per game. Most goals, Liverpool in first with 95. Aston Villa in third with 79. Few shots against Liverpool making the list in sixth with 337. Most possession in 7th with 53%. Most dribbles made, both make the list this time around, both with 641, tied for 6. Uh, and then most shots for in Liverpool in 1st with 620, Aston Villa in 4th with 539. Now, Ipswich team has been on and off again. We've seen a lot of times in 1st and 2nd place. We've seen a couple times in like 13th and 11th and thereabouts. What are they going to do this time around? Well, they're back to first. 95 points, 99 goals, not the highest, however. Uh, Norwich getting 103 does not include the playoffs, but actually they didn't even get to the playoffs, so it doesn't matter. But Ipswich with 99 goals is not bad. Schedule-wise, we've seen it before, but dropping out against Liverpool in both the Carabao Cup quarterfinals, 3-3 in penalties, and then the FA Cup fifth round, 2-4. Overall, I mean, average domestic cup season, you do get to the quarterfinals against Liverpool, but lose out. But Skybet Championship, first place, back to winning ways. Fantastic job. I mean, only by, I mean, that's a tight top four right there. So it's a good thing you got that extra point. Uh, goal differential wasn't going to, well, it's going to help a little bit. But I think overall, it's a fantastic place for Ipswich Town to be. We have seen tactics that have done better, though. 
And squad wise goals 32 for George Hurst. There he goes. We're back to tops. And Jack Taylor with 13 assists. Leaf Davis all the way down with 10. Average rating Nathan Broadhead with 718. So championship stats, Ipswich in first place with 2.07 points per game. Most goals in second with 99. There you go. We saw that earlier. Few shots against in fourth with 417. Most dribbles made in sixth with 782. And then most shots were in second with 681. So let us take a look at this Didier Deschamps tactic. We have a sweeper keeper in support, wing backs on the left and the right in support, a ball playing defender in defend next to a central defender in defend, a DM in support with a box to box in support, a winger on both sides in attack, an advanced, or sorry, attacking midfielder in attack, and then a complete forward in attack up front. Positive mentality, in possession, attacking with this fairly wide, approach plays pass into space, overlap on the left and the right, and play out of defense. Passing directness is slightly shorter, tempo is slightly higher, mix crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter and take short kicks. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a standard defensive line, trigger press more often, and that is it. Not a lot of instructions to this one. So overall, how did it do for our three teams? To be honest, not too bad. I mean, Ipswich in first place is a fantastic place to be. We've seen them on higher though. Overall, it is a great place to start. Again, if you like that type of formation, it seems to have worked. And if you could look at Liverpool and Aston Villa, Liverpool getting second place, Aston Villa in fifth, it's kind of on the average mark thereabouts, at least 85 points, 75 points. Uh, that is what the average is for these two teams throughout the tactic talks that we've been doing for a while. Liverpool have been coming in first, unfortunately not this time around. But... Take a look, see if it works for you, and let us know in the comments below. But that's it for me, Sevian FM, for the Football Manager blog channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.